the right way to understand the Quran is that a first effort you make really how it was understood by the Prophet and his companions. First effort. Then you never do mistake. Because you can see there are so many things happening here. لا يتن قلوبهم It is magic, it is poetry, it is this and that. Certainly our time many people don't maybe say these things. All these things are you know historically happened in the time Mac- in, in Mac- 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 so first thing all that will save you from mistake like for example when Quran said that there is a big bang uh, bang theory in the Quran why we know it wrong the reason we know wrong because that was never understood by the early people first people they never understood like that that they used to read that verse and if they did not understand then there no single mentioning in hadith they asked the prophet what does it mean it means they, they understood the meaning and meaning never can be this because that thing is something new. They never be. So when you make effort to force your, yourself to be back in the time of the Prophet, what happens is then you are safe from the mistake in the Quran. Don't read it. Then the second step is how I can apply same thing to my life, my own context. So it is second step. So if the second step will save you from the mistake, yeah, certainly you have to extend because the Quran is your book. In the book of every human being until the day of judgment. But the first step is very, very important, really. That people do problem when, they, you know, understand, really. The Quran is never revealed to Ghafur Bhai to me. So this we know. So if I lie that, you know, it has been a book revealed to me, it is a lie, really. The Quran never has been revealed to me. The Quran has been revealed to Prophet Muhammad. That's all, really. Not even Sibwe, you know, Farabi, Ibn Sina. Never. Nobody got Quran other than one man. And he is the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that's true really. He has to understand it. He, he, it. Quran came to help him. Then after that, he said, this book is also your. So what you can do? Let's see how he understood and let's see how can we apply the same Quran to our life. If you do two stages, you'll always save. All the time. Because the third, the third stage, then it bring this, what you understand in the language of your people, in your time. The, the third step for the teacher. But two steps are very very important in every single verse force yourself to know how the prophet understood how the Arabs in the time the prophet understood the verse then how it can make sense to my time how can I apply then you will be safe from the mistake I don't want to mention the name of the people but there are many many preachers in our time really one of the reasons that they keep doing mistake is because they don't make the first effort and sometimes they do silly mistake. They say, see how Quran makes the, the modern life so clear. So they apply the Quran to modern life. Then you, why can't you ask question? Okay, if this is the meaning, so how the Prophet understood it? The Prophet was not from our time. So then he did not understand. That how these people do really. They jump. Jumping is a mistake. You cannot jump. The book is historically revealed to certain people. Like Arab poetry. You know, if I want to explain, like, you know, it has been said in modern context, say, you know, in England, I can force Mu'allaqa to mean, but not ugly. It is actually Arabic poetry of Jahiliya period. I have to understand that time. Then sometime I can bring some of those verses to apply to my context. I can use ugly Mu'allaqa Qais poetry to explain something in our time. But first thing we have to understand what he wants to say. What he's saying. Same thing Akbar's poetry, same thing Quran. First thing is to understand how the Prophet Muhammad received it, how the Arabs understood it, and how they applied it, then how I can apply. But if you miss the first one, second one will be wrong. I tell you, second one will be never right. Both steps are absolutely necessary.